For many of those who live day after day in their own personal hells, haunted by the potential consequences of their sins, hope may seem to shine its light. Yet such hope is not quite within arm's reach. For such individuals, hope seems to be neither tangible nor obtainable. The fears of hellfire in the afterlife may be ever-present, but these troubled souls seek escape from consequences in their everyday lives, and as a result, hope is intangible. The intangibility of hope is explored through the hatophobic visual depictions of both a figurative and literal hell in the 1960 Japanese horror film, Chigoku. Throughout Jigoku, characters are plagued by the potential punishments that they may receive for their sins on Earth, whether the sins were direct and intentional or not. Toward the beginning of the film, characters Tamala and Shilo hit drunken Yakuza gang leader Kiyochi by car at night. This kills Kiyochi, and Tamala drives away. He blames Kiyochi in order to rationalize the hidden run, while Shilo internally takes responsibility. Characters like Tamala rationalize and justify their actions in order to cope and move forward, while others seek different means to escape responsibility, often by keeping matters a secret. It is revealed later on that several characters, all in the same room, are all responsible for the deaths of other people, with some being more direct than others, yet they all make attempts to rationalize their actions in order to escape punishment and responsibility. By escaping responsibility, characters look towards windows of hope, wherever they may be. In order to clear his conscience, Shilo does make attempts to right his wrongs by going to the police. However, while doing so, the taxi he rides crashes, leading to the death of his girlfriend Yukiko. Even when trying to do good, Shilo's hope becomes shattered. From there, he decides to keep the hidden run secret from the law. Shilo attempts to move on by seeking hope through the comfort of Yoko, who turns out to have been Kiyochi's girlfriend. Shilo's pursuit of hope and escape from consequences only lead to more suffering, as Yoko makes attempts to avenge Kiyochi by killing Shilo. Ironically, suffering only comes her way as well, as she falls off a bridge to her death. <laughs> perhaps as punishment for her murderous intentions. Like Shilo, Yoko's hope for a better future only becomes shattered as her sinful means to achieve a perceived better life lead to fatal punishment. Yoko's attempt at homicide may have been justified in her head, but it ultimately was deemed worthy of punishment by the supernatural. This is a recurring theme throughout Jigoku. Characters make attempts to avoid punishment and rationalize their sins, only for their actions to backfire and get the better of them. The hope that the characters have is ultimately intangible, as they are punished with suffering, both in the mortal world and in the afterlife. <laughs> This theme is carried out in the last act of the film, in which the main cast of characters find themselves in the literal place of hell. Hope is seen, but not within arm's reach. The thirsty Mr. Yajima sees a pool of water, but he cannot reach it. The damned are punished physically, but their bodies rematerialize, giving them brief moments of false hope, only for their punishments and suffering to continue on all over again. <gasps> <gasps> ah! Hope dangles before these characters, never to be obtained, never to be reached. 
Shiloh is told Yukiko's and his unborn baby daughter is somewhere in hell. While Shiloh seems to have abandoned hope for his eternal soul, he still clings to hope, but now it's just the hope for his daughter. He wishes to save her from hellfire and eternal damnation. He ultimately finds her rotating endlessly on a spinning wheel. He makes attempts to bring her down, but fails to reach her. Much like the pool of water appearing before Mr. Yajima, hope is intangible. The ultimate form of suffering in Jigoku is false hope. The light at the end of the tunnel haunts the damned. They can see a spark of hope, but they cannot obtain it. As time seems to stop, the film cuts to the mortal world once again. The suffering of hell and the suffering on earth are one and the same. There is no hope left for these characters, at least not for themselves. The film closes with a scene featuring Shiloh's sister, Sachiko, and his girlfriend, Yukiko, smiling and at peace under a heavenly light. Most of the characters may suffer for eternity in the blazes of hellfire, clinging onto false hope for themselves, but there is still hope for others.